Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO Spider-Man 2020 Menace of Mysterio set with 163 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States, where I got it from Target. The main reason a lot of people are going to get this set is this Mysterio figure. And for good reason. It's our first comic book LEGO Mysterio minifigure. We did get quite a few Mysterios in the Spider-Man Far From Home sets, but this is different. The back torso printing is nice as well. I like the color of the cape. He does use that fishbowl piece from the Far From Home sets, but underneath, instead of having a silver head, it's just an aqua head, which in that color is quite rare. I think it only came of one LEGO Friends set. Now the design of these parts right here may not be familiar if you're not into the LEGO Hidden Side theme, but these are straight from LEGO Hidden Side. And the minifigure for Ghost Spider, if you wanna call her Spider Gwen, you could call her that too from my understanding, is pretty cool. This is actually a design from last year with that new face and torso print from the Venom Mech set, not the crappy Venom Mech set from this year that I reviewed. No, no, no. So this is a $20 cheaper way to get Ghost Spider. And the set does have a skateboard and web for Ghost Spider. The Spider-Man minifigure is the one from 2019, but without the dual molded legs. Come on, Lego, why don't you put those in the junior sets? But this design is still really cool. I like the back printing. And it even includes this little web here, which is a classic Lego piece. So there's three main builds of the set. First, we'll take a look at the Mysterio mech. The Mysterio mech has some nice violet coloring to it, which I really like. Also nice printed two by four at the front. And it does use this base that I think was used with the TIE Fighter, was it? The Junior's TIE Fighter? I know it's not a new piece, but it has been used in Junior's before, but not in green. So it is exclusive to the set in that coloring. Though this mech doesn't really look amazing, it doesn't look as bad as, say, that Venom mech from the other set. There is this windshield here, which you could open up not only from the top, but also from the side. And on the inside, there's enough space to just fit Mysterio standing up, as well as that old 1x4 printed tile. Also, these arms to the side are a miniature ball joint, so you can move them around. And each of these fingers, which there's three in total, can be moved up and down since they are clipped on. So if you want to make it hold a minifigure, that is possible. Just for demonstration, let's make it hold Mysterio. And there you go. And also, at the bottom, there seems to be a core element to it. And there's four wheels, so you could wheel it around. I'll save that spider copter for last, because this bank is actually probably my favorite build in this set. This design is pretty reminiscent of that one Junior's Incredibles 2 set. But they do have this interesting feature of a vault at the front, you know, this vault door. And all you have to do to make it open is not spin it, but rather just pull it forward. I don't know, I really like how that works. And that's how you could access it on the inside. They do give you a little dynamite if you wanna pretend you blew it up. And on the inside, there are two little vaults. One of them has two gems in there. There's a blue one and a red one. And the other one has some pearl gold bar pieces. So that works pretty well. And finally, we have a spider copter, which, yeah, we've gotten a junior spider copter before, so this isn't anything special. It does have these little legs, I guess you could say, to the side, which are clipped on, so you can move them up and down. The inside doesn't have much space besides at the cockpit to sit a minifigure down. Also, some nice printed two by two on the circular tile on the side. And if you are a little kid, you could spin the rotor. JK, I spin rotors all the time, so don't have to be a little kid to just spin a rotor. But that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box for this is that $20 box size flipped over, so it's a $30 long boy. <laughs> but at the back, you can see different shots of the set. There's a total of three instruction booklets, one for each separate bag, which encourages family building. I love that. So overall, the Menace of Mysterio is a pleasant surprise. Like when I first saw this, I disregarded it because it is very derivative of other junior sets. We've seen that spider helicopter before. This mech is similar to that one in that Superman and Batman vs. Lex Luthor set. The bank build is reminiscent to one in the Incredibles 2 sets. But with all that considered, I like the mech build here. I like the colors on there. I like just how simple it is. It doesn't look like it's over saying it's welcome like that Venom mech. The bank here is actually a really solid build. It doesn't even look like a junior's build. It has that nice printed two by four. And there are a lot of nice prints and pieces in this set. I love getting these violet pieces, some more cool prints here. And of course, this is the only way to get that Mysterio. It is a cheaper way to get that ghost spider, which is nice. So with all that considered, I'd rate this one a B because I'm glad that Lego made this a junior set that kids will love, but adults probably won't feel bad spending $30 for this. I know I didn't. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.